Oh, thank you. It's good to see you guys, everybody, again, of course. Problem with going later on in the afternoon is I get to repeat a lot of the stuff you've already heard, but that's okay. Repetition is always good. So here's physical activity and obesity and how to get started. No disclosures. And our learning objectives for today is we want to describe the barriers that many individuals face when starting a well-rounded exercise plan. We want to explore the factors that contribute to some long-term success in finding that exercise program. And then how we as healthcare providers can be really an ally in somebody's journey towards more movement. So our first question today is the most often cited reason for why non-exercisers don't exercise. Number one, I don't know how, something hurts, I don't have time, or lack of motivation. Keep this poll open a little bit. Maybe we're having some cognitive dissonance among our participants right now about, ooh, maybe I should have gotten some exercise in over the noon hour. All right. I don't have time. You are correct. We'll talk about the rest of them here coming up in a little a couple seconds. Number two, clinically significant weight loss is noted at what reduction in total body weight from baseline. This has come up several times in today's various speakers. Close this one a little bit quicker here. Five percent is the correct answer. Ninety-three percent, not too bad. So again, we know we have a, a rough kind of state of, uh, of people's overall health. We can see seventy-four percent adults are considered overweight or obese. Um, when we take a look at U.S. adults, eighteen or older, meeting those physical activity guidelines, only fifty-two percent meet for their aerobic component. 22% uh, meet for both aerobic and muscle strength and activities. And just like Dr. Kamar said this morning, you know, 80% of adolescents don't meet the aerobic physical capacity guidelines either. And $3.2 million billion deaths, excuse me, are attributed to insufficient physical activity. So we have a lot of opportunity ahead of us to really get people moving around a little bit more. And we know that exercise is good for us. And I would say that a majority of our patients also know that exercise is really good for us. We know that people who start a weight loss journey uh, utilize exercise, they have be better weight loss uh, kind of outcomes as well as maintenance. Um, it's been shown that people who choose to utilize weight uh, loss, or excuse me, use, choose to get weight loss, uh, have exercise and diet together versus diet alone. Obviously, utilizing exercise plus diets can be better for us. And individuals in the National Weight Loss Control Registry um, so basically, we say that almost 90% of them, yes, I have to utilize exercise to help me maintain that overall weight loss. So I think the knowledge is there, the driver is there, and we lack some of the, the other kind of components when it comes to healthy 